quarry on the side of the road here. And uh, there's some shearing. As you can see, heavy oxidation in some areas where you have your fractured shears. I'm seeing pyrite in the samples laying on the ground, disseminated iron pyrite. I found one sample that had a little bit of malachite on it, so I want to take a look at that. See if we can find any chalcopyrite or copper mineralization. First little sample I took from over there, you have pyrite in the fractures of the rock as well as disseminated. Second sample was from a shear running all the way down here. Again, pretty much identical to the first one. Disseminated iron sulfides, mostly pyrite. And the third one runs along here and you have a micro stringer of chalcopyrite mixed with iron pyrite under 1% disseminated iron pyrite in the silicus gray unit just down the road you have another small quarry exact same situation as that first one disseminated iron sulfides in pretty much all of this rock over here and then there's a couple areas where we could get to right over here and uh, there's tiny tiny amounts of chalcopyrite mixed with pyrite and pyrotate similar rock unit you can see the black in there right there and little goldish, off goldish color. That's a little bit of disseminated chalcopyrite with sphalerite. This is just from a rock sample that I found on the side of the road. Just pulled over on the side of the road. Small little shear zone here. Disseminated iron pyrite. This rock is very, very, very heated. As you can see, the oxidation on the bedrock. And from what I'm seeing, we've hit about a four or five kilometer stretch where the entire road is super, super oxidized. There's pyrotization in sporadic amounts. And um, it's just very weathered and gossiness. And it seems like there's been some alteration to the rock as well. Another area here, this rock outcrop goes all the way up, straight up. There's a little road up here and it looks like it goes up about 50 meters tall. You can see the intense oxidation and shearing in here. This is pretty much the entire couple mountains we've passed, couple main roads have all been like this. Patches of iron sulfides here. Came across a couple cool little things here. Looks like an old uh, cabin or something as well. So this can't be too old based on the kind of nails they have stuck in the wood. Probably 60 to 70 years old at the most. Not sure what this was used for. So we've gone another thousand meters, three thousand feet, 
one kilometer and we have found the exact same stuff the entire way this is a little interesting showing here and uh, you can see some of the staining here this kind of gives you the indication that there's some cadmium present we got loads of mineral everywhere over at least a few kilometers and uh, over multiple roads what do you guys think that's it guys thanks for watching see you guys in the next video